you know, when you're when you're running full sensory full sensory perception or full sensory capacity, um, there's obviously a, a lot that's going on, and um, from time to time, uh, I'll pay attention to uh, a few channels um, that um, provide what data, visual mathematical data, through the speakers that are communicating the data. The visual data stream, the visual holographic data stream, yeah. So um, I don't communicate a lot of what I experience by virtue of how I respond to the things that they communicate, what I receive through my transmitter, my transceiver, right, my cells, the sensors, okay, the stereo receiver and transmitter, the neurogyro ion, the aurora shields, how I translate the data that they are communicating. So, for example, the one that uh, Michael Jaco did, uh, because he was a Navy SEAL, um, I, I posted a comment in there, and so the system would not allow me. It gets flagged. They're not going to allow others to map read the codes and learn from that, okay? Like, for example, I was going to remind Michael Jaco, who was a, a remote year with the United States Navy, okay? So he understands what a security clearance is. Just like the guy that was flying that nuclear bomber in the movie called Fail Safe in 1964, right? He's under strict orders. Remember, compartmentalized information. Somebody could be doing something in one building right across the street from where you're working, and you've got no idea what they're doing in there. That's how the security systems operate, okay? Now, particularly with MK Ultra, blank plate technology and sleeper cells, pre-programmed, pre-formatted. Hey, activate them. Wake them up. 10 million years later, stuff like that, because of how they know how the cycles work, you know, time-space vectors. And so in this particular case, um, I, I mentioned to Michael Jaco about you're not going to get deployed to perform a mission because whatever you're going to do that's passed on to you in order for you to perform what you're going to obey because you work in a hierarchical system, because if you don't obey the orders, what's going to happen to you, Michael Jaco? Right? The Navy brig? Right? So you know how it is to keep your mouth shut, even though you know you're experiencing things that may not be right, but it doesn't matter as long as you're performing that job. Because they're cutting you a paycheck. And electrons. Electron donors, electron inverters. So that means that, that whatever you have been deployed to do as a battery slave, as a resource, a military resource, to cyber command, that you have to obey then do you trust the data that's been given to you based on the mission that you're now being required to perform? Okay, so what was the message in failsafe? The bomber pilot was secured. He's supposed to obey. And his original orders are that if you see the little data display, the visual data display that went off, that means you open up a folder. And the co-pilot and the pilot open up the folder. And if the numbers match, that's called a sequence. That's a nuclear sequence. That means consciousness that his nuclear sequence is going to obey what those codes are because they've been sworn under oath to obey the hierarchical command of artificial alien machinery intelligence. Those codes. So they rely on those codes in order to perform the mission they're going to perform, which is to do what? Nuke Moscow. Okay? And in fact, they're not only supposed to obey those codes, but those codes also instructed them that under no circumstances, under any circumstances, once those codes have been opened as a sequence, as a neutral sequence, which means every one of your future memories and what you're going to experience is nuclear coded in your cellular recording is the nuke Moscow, which means you can't deviate from that. Now we're back to calculus between negative and magnetic, negative and positive magnetic polarities. Divine right mathematical order, divine right timing, and divine right balance in breathing codes. Breathing the right codes. And so as a result, now that bomber pilot is headed to Moscow. And there isn't any turning around. His job is now to make sure that that bomb hits that target. Just like Target Store, the bullseye, the red and the black. And so what ends up happening is, is even when the President of the United States was able to patch through to the pilot directly because the Russians agreed we're going to stop jamming the radio 
so the president of your country can get through to that pilot. So the pilot, who is Henry Fonda, is communicating directly to the pilot, and the pilot refuses to acknowledge a stand-down order because the president of the United States is telling him that it was a mechanical error, an error code. It's a data error code. The data that they were relying on, upon which you're going to obey the codes to nuke Moscow, is an error code, which means it's not real. It's not a real code. It's a deadlight AI code. You cannot trust the code. Do not sacrifice your plane and yourselves and all those people in Moscow. Yeah. And so he realized that, hey, they know how to duplicate. The AI knows how to duplicate, in fact, clone Henry Fonda. So how do I know that's true? The Russians know how to do that. The Russians know how to duplicate Henry Fonda's voice. So how do I know that's true? That's why my orders were very strict, Mr. President. Under no circumstance am I to deviate. Once those codes come up, I got whether it doesn't matter if they're error codes. I've got to carry out those codes. And what did they find out? Well, the conversation between the political science and the generals, we let the AI machinery get away from us because now it's killing us. You understand, Michael Jaco? That's right, buddy. Okay? And so, follow the orders. The order followers. The hierarchical cyber command of finite deadlight metatronic. So now we're in the materialized, dematerialized, vaporized, and metatronic seed atom. Then what happens to all the immortal metatronic bodies? Uh-oh. That's another Whoops. Need time. We gave them time. There's always all the time in the world. There is no time. There's only what love is. Out of eternal love, out of eternal forgiveness, out of eternal compassion. Needing time to recode the original templates, eternal life creation spheres. So the lady was wearing red and black who's apparently a county recorder in Colorado, flagged something's wrong with the data. Okay, so 107, 007 was talking about, yeah, the data. It's all about the data. The data isn't right. Now we're back to the guy who's the pilot in the plane. The data isn't correct. There's a mechanical error in the system. It's been flagged. The data, like data on Star Trek. Trust the data, huh? Unreliable sources. The machines are not a reliable source of data because their circuits break the circulation speed. Wow, we're breaking circuits. Wow, this one broke down. We cannot trust the circuits. We cannot trust the signals, which means we cannot trust the data, otherwise known as a snafu, which means situation normal, all fucked up. That's how people get killed. That's called friendly fire. It's not friendly. (laughs) Have a beautiful day. We love you all. Be good to yourselves.